Hey everyone, it's Ahmad from Modifications. Currently, electric cars have many advantages over gas cars, in some ways being more environmentally friendly, energy efficient, and economical. More and more people are choosing to buy EVs. Because of this, we've seen infrastructure get tighter and tighter. However, with the recent announcement of destination charges from Tesla being available to non-Tesla EVs, this has opened up a whole new infrastructure. However, somebody with a non-Tesla EV cannot just pull up to a destination charger and start charging. What you need is this adapter. So today we're going to take a look at this adapter and how it solves this problem for you by enabling the Tesla destination charger infrastructure for your non-Tesla EV. First, let's take a look at the adapter itself. As you can see, it's made of high quality materials. It's got a very ergonomic design. It feels very sturdy, but also it's got this locking mechanism right here where you can plug your Tesla adapter and actually locks the adapter in place to make a better connection, but also it keeps everything in place and keeps everything tight. The adapter itself holds a maximum current of 48 volts and it charges all the way up to 11.5 kilowatts per hour. The last thing I like about this adapter is how portable it is. Whether you're on a business trip or you're on a you know, vacation, taking this with you is super easy and also storing it in your car is super easy. I actually use the frunk to store this. However, you can also put it in the center console under the armrest, really anywhere you can fit something of this size, which is virtually anywhere in a car. So another huge plus for this uh, adapter. Now let's take a look at how this adapter works. When you arrive at a non-Tesla charging station and you find that there are no available spots, but there are open spaces at the Tesla charging stations, you simply need to take this adapter out and plug it into the charging station's interface. Please note that this adapter only supports AC interface, not DC. A few simple steps will get you charging fast. Simply grab the Tesla charger, plug it into the back of the adapter. Ensure that it's on snug, and then use the locking mechanism to lock the cables together. Take the J1772 end and plug it into your car firmly. Wait for your car to notify you that it started charging, and go check out the speeds that you're able to get just from the destination chargers available all around the country. The charging speed of this adapter is very quick making your charging time more efficient. Additionally, this adapter has passed safety certifications to ensure your usage safety. I believe that these features make this a very practical product. When you're done, you simply just go over, make sure your car is unlocked, take out the adapter, unlock the locking mechanism, pull the Tesla charger out, and please ensure to put the cable away properly so it's not sitting on the ground. This is a very portable unit. You can store it in the center console, or as I do, I actually store it in the front of my car. This unit also comes with a base that you can connect to the garage wall for easy storage. So that's the Tesla adapter I wanted to introduce to you today. Uh, hopefully you understand how easy this makes things, especially if you're out and about. This really just opens up a whole new network of charging and instead of buying the very expensive options in the market, this one particularly I recommend. I'll post a link in the bottom, uh, but go get it because it does give you a lot more peace of mind, especially as an enthusiast of EVs. You want the most access to any charging network you can, and right now this is probably the best we can get until there's further progress on the charging infrastructure. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more cool EV options and accessories. Thanks.